And so we need to um, pick a date to lay the Belgian block down, which will be the, um, the edging for the plaza. It's just the edging, it's not a retaining wall, it's not a permanent structure, it's just an edging. Yeah, um, I spoke to Susan briefly and um, explained what it was and where we were getting it from and it's paid for and all that. And he's okay with it. I think he misunderstood. He's thinking it's some kind of a wall. <laughs> I just know wall. It's edging. So um, it's just a matter of um, picking a date and getting it down there. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you do have contact with them, if you need to be you or I'll call or Danielle call this matter. Um, did, did they say whether they want the money ahead of time? Because I can actually go up there like I get out there on a Friday and prepay it. Um, that's what I have done in the past. Yeah. Is when I deal with them, I usually pay for it and then they deliver it. Okay. Or you can pay for it and pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. Do we know how much we need? Um, we, I have a round number, but I can, take, I can get more of that figure. Okay. So, um, I think we were going to have trucks. What would you say, how many trucks do you need for that much? Um, two, two pickups would do it? Or one extended? Probably one? two, just because the weight load. The weight load. Because my son has, I know he's going to use his truck. Um, he's got an extended cab on him. So it's if you have a double axle, you could probably do one. Yeah, he's in double axle. Here. To help get the block with me. <laughs> uh, when? We, well, we, need to, we need to pick a date. Is this, is this Saturday or Sunday preferred? Mm -hmm. I don't believe they're open on Sunday. I don't know. It's Saturday. It's probably the first. But that way, if we're running into like no time and we have to finish up on Sunday, I'll be probably going to Alright, so how is, is July 9th too soon? So July 16th, same time, 10 o'clock? Yeah. Is that good for everybody? Yeah. yeah. Um, Is the 16th better for you, Frank? Yes. Okay. Um, now with that, <laughs> we're going to need um, our big axis in order to dig a small the trench, because we're not for a while, but you have to get to the trench so you don't have to back up too much of the dirt. So we got keeping them um, secured on the bottom. If we put them in tight enough, can we put just a thin layer of the cement on the bottom and drop them in, and then That'd backfill be, and it'll hold them without having to go yeah, back? Yeah, and much? normally what you do is you do lay a channel of uh, concrete, and then there's also uh, between. I'm 
my house, and they were very, they were very close together, though. It wasn't like right. I looked at the Renaissance Plaza and went, well, spaced, they were spaced, and they fit. But the ones I have in my house are edgy ones, and um, they, they just put a thin layer on the bottom, drop them in to hold it, right. and then they uh, came back and they did the um, stuff like in the Like more Yeah, but it wasn't, it's just thin. Right. But it's okay. still removable. Yeah. If it ever needed. Sure, somebody we know has a bucket and the, the whisk to mix the concrete. Okay, we'll push that stuff down. There's actually an attachment for that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there power down there? Yes. yes. So we can use that power drill and then we'll just set attachments. Right. And then for July 4th weekend, we're going to place the flags there. Um, I have them ready. I'll take them down. It's not borough property, but at least if we can make it look, you know, nice down there too. Is there any other area that needs to be addressed? We know that the, the library is fine. Um, well, we talked about for a hall. So right. He did the um, the railing was loose, and I believe he fixed it. Yeah, the right. railing's been fixed. on the canal uh, to have, they fixed the bridge, they fixed the caps, and they fixed the sidewalk on the, sidewalk on the north side, you're coming off the Cowboy Street Bridge. Um, to the left? The borough, go to the right. So they didn't do that one on the left? No. They did, they, not the sidewalk, the borough's going to do that. Okay. Um, Is that the borough's the, the yes, sidewalk? The one chunk of it. And it's one of those things where it keeps being destroyed because like trucks keep driving on it. I know. And it gets salt and it gets really just worn down. So they were talking about even maybe putting some sort of barrier there so trucks can get over it. Um, but they the buck pin dot was out there about two or three weeks ago and they did they did a really good job. They they like I said they fixed the cap, they they power washed the graffiti because that's and they painted some of them. That's that's the the side where um, it has that borough sign that you eat. Yes. It says Bio. Yes. Bio. Exactly. Okay. But on the towpath, there was there was right. There was they, 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 they did a really good job. Yeah. They were there for a number of days in route. Yeah. And I stopped and thanked them. Yeah. Okay. That's great. But that so that for me, that's just going to have to get in place. Yeah. Get some kind of that. That's also. But it definitely. Let's go. 
Senator McElhinney about his friend on and ask him um, if he can see about that bridge when they have a timeline for that because of what it means. We've already shown a lot of those areas that the they did, yeah, now they did that fix a lot. Of Slated to be replaced at, at some point if the other one is considered uh, potentially managed. So if that one's in better shape than the other one, <coughs> yeah. this yeah. one appears. That one, this one appears going to get a major repair in the late January. It's slated for it. Yeah, but but if they're reducing the water in the canal to do that, it'd be great if they could consider yeah. right on top of that or right after that doing that one so that the water is out for a limit, a, a small amount of time as possible because that's one of the attractions. I guess it's going to come down to what monies they have slated for the TIF program. You know, there's certain bridges, not just us that are on right. that. The best thing you can do is put it on the radar that, you know, if you want to know if that can be added or um, what, when it could be. And, and you want it to match, of course, because they're going to be places to be down here and they're going to engineer it aesthetically. And have it look aesthetically nice right. because it's, right. part of a, it's going over a state park. Yeah, yeah, they're going to, I'm sure the design is going to be more historical. They, As they, they enter into the right. beautiful state of Pennsylvania. Yeah. So. Well, they have they have a certain state, but then they got Penn Valley, they got the big right. state. So, but you know, so they, they they could make sure they work together on how they can do that. So, right. I mean, they're doing up county and they're, and they're doing some really nice designs on those right. old bridges to make sure that they you know look aesthetically for the start of the site. Yeah, that they because are, it's so. Bucks County. Oh yeah, it should be here too. So, right. Yeah, I agree. Right. We live there. We just cleaned it up. Is there any other areas? Um, I do want to reapply. Say when it goes in, is it once a year or two, twice a year? Twice a year? Once. Or oh, once a year? Yeah. Well, I'll do that in the spring of next year. Mm -hmm. um, there is down um, on the corner of Delmore, in front of the little shopping center where the trade operation is, right at the corner there, in the um, piece of property, uh, the land strip. Spot all the time. I mean, they mow all the time down where you're getting on the ramps. It's always mowed. Why does it do that? It's just a little tiny spot, yeah. but it, it's enough that it's, it's probably a out. forgotten spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably a forgotten spot. That's what I think it is. Yeah, they just give a, maybe have a. Or the other thing is, you know, see if, if um, I mean, I guess the owner of that shopping center can see if they can work out something where they can maintain the bridge. Just so it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I could say something that was a great idea to find out about it. I can talk to the owner of the shop and see if he and his person that he uses to maintain that area. We can maybe talk to the bridge commission and put the two up to maybe work out something. Yeah. So, 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 it's so just that it's You it's have to share a fusion in that mm -hmm. shop yeah. center.
provided tonight uh, photographs of lampposts, um, Victorian style dark black lampposts. There's uh, peeling paint on a number of them, both on the top ball and at the base. And I was um, also they originally were a gloss finish, and a, and, set, and a lot of the paint in several places has gone to a matte finish over time, and it's peeling. So Do we I know was how long ago, ago they were. Do we know how we know how long ago they were installed? Manufacturer, maybe I'll reach out to them and say, Hey, listen, you know, these are such and such year old, and yeah, yeah. I'll have to find out, you know, when they were installed and everything. And if maybe by chance there's a defect in the paint or gloss or something like that, because the, the paint, the, the, you have to paint the whole thing, so you're going yeah, to be able to just touch up and not going to be able to match anything. So because then it would have to be glossed in, and yeah, they get a lot of rubber, so. But so it's, it's something. Okay. I'll come down tomorrow and I'll talk to Mr. Suki about it and, um, and see what he can find out for me. Either him or Mr. Seward should know uh, where we got them and how long ago. And, you know, perhaps give me the manufacturer's phone number that I can reach out to them and see, you know, how much, uh, if at any warranty. Were they put in the same time as the the um, posts down at the plaza? The ones that the, with the chain? No. Were they put in the same time? Uh, no. 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 No, actually, I believe, I may be mistaken, but I believe they were part of the grant program through the Bridge Commission. The, like, the lamp posts and the curbing were done at a similar time as part of some well, program through the Bridge Commission. commission. Done on Bridge Street and Delaware. And I thought that had something to do with Bridge Commission input for funding through them somehow or something. All right, I'll see what but I can I, find I, out. I could be completely wrong, but that is somewhere in there that's in the recollection. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, you think they last longer than that. Just paint them on them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Something I wanted to mention was if you could give me an idea of footage for a new circle hose. Really, really good price at Lowe's. So I'm going to pick up circle hoses to make that easier down there. Okay. Um, the plants seem to be doing really well. Um, the day the ones are blooming. Yeah, they actually are really, the next year they should really take nice. off. They're really looking nice. Yes. Um, the three new rose bushes you put in, they're, they're taking off. You can see the grab and the roses on. Um, they said they'd be better next year. They will always be better next year. Little purple ones, they're doing pretty good. Some are a little smaller than others, yeah. but they might eventually take off, or there might be a couple maybe eventually be replaced, but they seem like they're starting to, to take off too. But I think it'd be easier, especially if they get some high, really high heat time, to put a circle yes. back in there. Absolutely. So if I know the footage, um, okay. if they come in a 100 um, yard uh, runs, 
so far, you know, how many, I think we've got, what, one, two, three rows, so we ran it down. It goes on the top surface or under the mulch? You can do it either way. Otherwise, we would make a little trench, put it just under the mulch, and it'll... But, like, you could lay it down and lay it above the mulch, but right now, the next year, we'll be putting all the chain. Just put it right there, okay. Yeah, because it, it just gives a fine mist onto the stuff constantly, real slow. Okay, so if we wove that, between like the day lilies and the Italian purple ones next to the back, we don't have any other plants on the back row yet. Um, we'll be able to get two rows of it. Yeah, typically around the trees, you just make a circle around um, where it crosses over the hose, and then you move in between the other plants. So they're just going to connect like any other hose. I've never bought yes. these before, and we'll just weave them where we need. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we can figure out footage for that. Okay. Then I'll pick up this open hose, and uh, when we go down to the evening to do the, the block, or not sooner, We'll hook that up so that we can take the wind down on a constant basis for the trees doing more of it. We also have to look at something else for the sides because I did, I have noticed like uh, people will walk on um, the sidewalk there on Pennsylvania and they'll cut up the grass. And maybe it'll walk. change once the block is put in, right. once the edging is put in. But I have noticed you know people tramping through okay. that particular spot right there. The ones on the other side, not so much, but the ones, you know, in front of the um, the hedges, mm -hmm. I have noticed that the plants yeah. are kind of getting um, trampled. trampled. So I don't know if maybe, I think for now, the edging there will help. Right. So you walk through this park. It is a destination for people around the world. It's internationally known, and Harold has won a number of awards, including um, design awards. It's on an old railway? Yes, that is on an elevated railway in New York City. It's called the High Line. It is... Um, so, so it's like a, a, just a path. It's a path. It's yes, a and the rails are still there. The rails are still there. It's planted around that. Um, but basically, it's a no mulch approach. It's very low maintenance water because they're using things that are going to work with the, with the climate that they have in that elevated place in the city. Mm -hmm. So the Dog Park um, gave a presentation to the um, NEAC and they approved um, our design for where we've already put in. And then also along the railroad tracks. Now in that design, 
know what's required every year, but it, it would um, incorporate the trees that are already there and then just incorporate um, low grasses and the plants that we already suggested right, right. and were approved, were rec you know, the recommendations made to the council. It just fills it all in. It fills it all in, and in that area, which is so prone to erosion coming off of the hard top, black top yeah, of the so railroad, I think that would solve all our problems. Yeah. So well, I want to ask you, when we were down that. there putting these plants in, we noticed since we're putting a couple of the trees, right with the fences for that railroad, we've got that space. Mm -hmm. um, you can see where the, some of the river stones have been placed along there, which is great. We do have that runoff. So a lot of it was like a, I don't know what's in it, it's like a black sooty mud that comes down from there. Is that anything that would affect the plants that you put in from growing? Because that's just, uh, we're just going to run in with it put there. So I don't know whether we got to put this something to well, block that edge of the water. So up. far the trees that are in there for two years are surviving. Okay. And we put additional trees in earlier and they seem to be okay. So.
parties right here in town, I mean, why not, you know, build on them? I mean, I tend to, you know, kill plants inside. <laughs> I've gone I have no shame in admitting I, I do not have a green thumb with plants inside. But I want to share that, that those thoughts with you because I have to tell you, if you ever have the opportunity to listen to this man, it's fascinating. I mean, really, he is, he is nationally and internationally known and recognized. And um, I mean, he also can do teaches. something like this on top of the stuff. Uh, you never know. <laughs> but I, I think that that would be something to think about. Uh, I'd like to propose that the dog park find that. And this would be a good, uh, I think it's a good location. It also kind of harkens to the High Line. It kind of pays right. homage to it. Right. Because it's also a lot of railroad tracks. And I think yeah. this would be a great place, opportunity, and a great place to try this. So along your river view, yeah. which is all It also natural. enhances all of that. And because that's part of the Atlantic Flyway for birds and monarchs, yeah. this area would only enhance that. And I have to say, we have a pair of mockingbirds nesting oh. on Spruce Street down oh, there right nice. now. So. Well, the day we were down there, we were saying to Justin, this is a lot of mulch yeah. that would have to be to really right. take care of the weed problem, otherwise you're, you're mowing in between. Right. So if something like that can be done where it's aesthetically pretty, but uh -huh. yet lower maintenance for yeah. our guys. And no mulch, no mulch, no, no, I mean, once it's established, there's no water. Right, right, because it's uh, what so. whatever it has, okay. Yeah, you, you should um, maybe propose that to the dog. That is a tough area right there, and it it's is. almost like a backdrop to the rest of the It is, and that's the beauty too, is that you can plant, we, there are plants we can put in there that just go with that exact, whatever right. the soil is there and all the rockiness that comes with it. Right, so. yeah, there's a lot of rock right there. So, so I wanted to just kind of... Uh, that's a nice fill, and I like to lower maintenance and see. Yeah. Front part is beautiful, and so that's enough to maintain right there plus the inside, so. That just go nice back. I wonder if there's anything that we could ever do for the hill that um, is at Williamson Park. Mm -hmm. The snow hill? Yeah. Was it hill? Something like you know, this mm -hmm. along the hill so it doesn't have to be mowed and it's natural. What would you do on the sled though? No, not, not the hill closer okay. to Delmore, the, well, the hill on the dike. Oh, the dike, oh, the dike side. Side. Okay. Well, you know, uh, my understanding is at one point that was planted years and years ago before Cynthia, the entire hillside. And those were taken out because of allergies. <laughs> no, <laughs> root problems is what I was told. But was it? Well, that makes sense. Problems with the root system. Really? In the stone work. Mm. I never thought about so that. So you, yeah. you have to have something that's Shallow root systems. Yeah. That's right, that's right against the back of that wall. Right. Oh, so. uh, okay. Yeah, that's not a good idea. But at one point, that was covered with more It's a nice picture of you. Yeah, I don't know what their season is for doing that. Or what's well, falls. When they have, okay. So, so I have two contacts. That would be along the canal, right? The duck goes along the canal? That's something I think this committee should think about there. Um, that's what Madeline brought up. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is what Madeline brought up. But the two people who um, are, are they the chair of the committee are both master gardeners and friends of mine. So uh, I can contact them and see what, what's involved in
tons of money in man hours and, and effort. And that's why but the fire calls. I was just going to say that water they're doing things like that. It's a huge plot of land there, too. Yeah. You know where else they did it, too, I noticed? In Fairless Hills. In the back of the old shops shop where the old Walmart was, um, I was cutting through the back, and there was the same thing. It's like a retention area for, for drainage. And same thing, they have all that planted in the middle, and, and as it comes up, it's just smooth on the very top edge of it. But that's all filled with right. innate natural plants, and then it changes for the season. That's right. what they do. And all those plants help to take up water, mm -hmm. filter water. Well, probably cut right. back on the mosquitoes, too, yep. that they have Well, the there. water doesn't sit. It so does right. It waters the plants. It's a good right. idea. Yeah. And um, Newtown Township, uh, Newtown Township building also has yeah. this. Um, this, this is the way that a lot of places are going because it really does make Especially with their difference. working more and more on storm wrath management yeah. as they're doing new development and stuff, so they're putting in a lot of these. And yeah. you're finding that in order so the water is staying stagnant and less maintenance, they're putting those type of plantings in the middle. It aesthetically looks pretty, but then it serves a purpose at the same time. Right. It also becomes a haven for butterflies and birds. Yeah. Um, the uh, firehouse installed one of the birdhouses that the kids made. Oh, uh, uh, very nice. In their retention. Very area. nice. So, very nice. Um, I love our firehouse. Yes. Yeah, they're big guys. Oh, yes. So, that's something that I think. But the daffodils, I think there are other places we should think about. Yeah. Um, maybe coming up uh, from. Coming up Pennsylvania Avenue down in the lower end, somewhere along there, yeah. along the roadside. Yeah. Um, maybe talking to Falls Township about the V where you come by Snipes mm -hmm. and, and seeing if um, maybe the big would actually be uh, um, Penda. Penda owns that, that okay. center Penda. area. Mm -hmm. I've actually spoken with Penda about that center area. Actually, today, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. it's really Regarding that, a couple other areas. But that's that's the kind of area that they do this because they Bucks, um, both the Bucks, Bucks Beautiful did a lot 95 in sections uh, by Newtown and Yard. Mm -hmm. I believe um, the the 32 split would be um, almost like an adopt a highway part of that center area. So it may be an adopt a highway yeah. just for that yeah. center. Uh, but that's those are other areas. Are but yeah, because um, it does have it does have something growing out of it now. I don't know if it's a weed, if it's a, if it's I don't know what it is. But I know right now it's got something growing out of that area. Growing out of it. I know the the main thing is they usually have to do it along a state route. Yeah. Right. It has Which to be along the state, so it's. Your state routes are normally designated by your double yellow line. That's how you can normally just quickly visually know whether it's a state route or not. Mm -hmm. You have that with double line. In the I think it says in there where they've been planting, right? So I think it's a map actually in here. Not mistaken. So I, I'll talk to them and see what their designations are, and I'll put yeah. that information for the next meeting. Okay. Great. Thanks, Annie. Karen, do you have anything? Else? Um, the only thing I'm going to say, I guess, is we get plaques pretty much finished um, for the season. I'll have to look into fall time when it comes time to um, clean it back, get it ready for fall. And I asked um, Bob Sumi about the lights because he actually liked the idea of putting um, some type of a um, decoration on the pole for the holiday. Um, he, Mentioned a couple times. We can't put anything in We have post streets we love. I don't know what the electrical part of that is. Um, I have to go back to the about that. I don't know exactly. If there's, I have no idea. Um, if it's possible to do that, that would be an idea to figure out besides what we did in the plaza last year and, and, um, and the decorations, if there's something we can do with just enhancing it and mm -hmm. it downtown a little bit. So that's something we're going to start thinking about once we get past this um, summer season here and get the rest of the stuff on the way. Um, one other thing about the playground, I know a number of people on Facebook, and I know myself including, I have to put on there. No, 
whenever people are interested in getting their tickets back, is it possible for the borough to um, maybe set up a weekend day or a weekday where with a borough person there, people can come down and take I think they're going to bring them back here. Yeah. Yeah. People can make them up here. They're going to bring all the, the tickets back. All the tickets? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And also, um, is the summer seat piece being saved? We asked him to save anything that we had that was done in Because the slate piece on there was done by a slate artist okay. specifically for that yeah. summer scene building. Um, Just to let him take some pictures. I'm yeah. talking yeah. about it. So it would be great to yeah, repurpose that. Was this only the outside of the No, it's, it's on the actual summer seat. There's a playhouse like structure that was designed to look like summer seat framed on there was a slate piece done by a local slate artist to Bucks County, a well-known, it's a signed piece. And the other thing is that in one of the columns, there is a time capsule. And there are columns in the wall of the, of the masonry wall. There is a During time capsule. Our, our, the council meeting, somebody had mentioned that that might have been destroyed in the fire. Do you think that, do you know where it was? Definitely was not. It was in one of the lower ones. Concrete part it was of that concrete. Wall? Oh, okay. Uh, okay then. It was in the um, corner, stone the corner one that's closest to Delmore, that corner in, in, in. Uh, masonry wall okay. piece. It's in there. Mars has a lot of time capsules. Oh, yeah. yeah makes sense. So I had a, a um, woman leave a message on my answer machine, too. It's uh, Western Marshall, and uh, it's our main thing now. And she was one of the people that helped that back then when she first got married. I think she, I don't, I think she had one kid at the time. And um, she had said that when she saw it up on Facebook about it closing down, she was very sad about it. And she saw the article on the paper and told me we were saving certain things from it. So she contacted me and asked how they were going to go about doing that. Because if it's not incorporated somehow and it's something else, then she would have to have it back. And I took her name and stuff. So I told her our family also has it closed down. So same, same thing. I said to her, I didn't know exactly what we were doing yet with them. We weren't going to destroy any of them. We were going to take them all down um, and then figure out how we can get them back to everybody. Or if it's something that, let's say, we can incorporate somehow in, in a new structure, whether it be a backdrop to a sitting area or some part of that park. I don't know. But she said that the neat idea too. So I said that was just off the top of my head. Uh, so I said to her, we have to talk to the council and the administration to find out, but that, that, that's a possibility too. But either way, they were going to get destroyed to make sure we got them back or, you know, at least let them know what's going to happen. And, and maybe the tic-tac-toe piece can be salvaged? Yeah, we have to see what's all down there. I'm making sure it's company actually allows. That's, that's, because that's, that's the one that you just stand in front of them So the insurance company says, no, 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 you can't use it which is fine. Um, but is there, for things like that, is there any reason why we wouldn't um, try to raise money for the new one by selling it to a resident that's interested in owning it? Some pieces they've taken off of them? Yeah. I mean, as long as, they're, as long as they're not dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, right. I mean, not anything dangerous, but like what you're talking about, the, the tic-tac-toe, if somebody wants to own that in the borough, because I don't know, they, they grew up using it or their kids used it. Mm -hmm. Would that be like an issue? Like owning a piece of the play. 